it's on. Yep. So I've got my Crocs on that slip on and off real easily because that's important if you want to keep the inside of the car clean. Also, my feet are a little smaller and don't get caught up as much. Now, I put this in here this way, but that's not the ideal way to have the top to get started here. So I'm just going to carry it outside and find a good spot to lean it. Now, ideally I'd have like some cardboard or something on the ground, um, but I'm just going to find some nice grass that's not going to be fill up with mud and I think this will work. You can lean this up against a tree or a fence or something like that, which is typically what I do. But I'm confident enough that I'm going to be able to put this on my back. Um, and here I'll show you, this, this hard top is the rustiest part of the, the car. I come over here and let me show you. There's scratches on the car and some people might say, oh, well, you know, you've, you've clearly messed up and uh, dinged up your car. Well, that's not it. The, the car was advertised as rusty when I bought it. Um, but it turned out it was really just the hard top. I guess maybe somebody left this out or don't know why. But in any case, it's a rusty hard top, but it's the one that matches the car. And then here's how I do this. So I'm going to squat down. You want to use your legs to do this. So I want to squat down to the point where I can just pick it up like that. So now I've got a special, uh, special issue here with this narrow doorway here. I need to squeeze through. This is special and a special challenge. Thank you for getting that. It may get snagged on additional things. All right. Okay. Now I can get it back to normal. I ordinarily wouldn't mess with doing that. And going in this alleyway, I've got trash cans to worry about too, which I tried to make myself a nice wide path. And I left the door of the car wide open. Well, I can grab that. I'm strong for somebody who weighs 155 pounds, but I don't have any problem doing this. And once you have it up on your back, it's really not that hard to carry. So now I not only flip the seats forward, but I extended the seat belts and also put the rollers on the seats so they're able to stay forward. Now what I always do is I aim for the peg first, the rear center peg. It's always the first thing because I don't want that to stab the paint. of the turtle. You want me to stop? That's the end of the video, yep.